Banner Status Cubs Rays World Series Championship Flag on Emotional Night at Wrigley On November 3, 2016, on the first night of this bizarro baseball world after which the Chicago Cubs became world champions, the World Series trophy rested on the nightstand of a sleeping Anthony Rizzo. The Cubs' first baseman had taken the trophy home and, after snapping some pictures of it tucked in his bed and resting on a pillow, he fell asleep with the holy grail of sports keeping watch over him. I woke up, opened my eyes and the trophy was right there he said. It was a beautiful thing. Yes, it happened. The Cubs really did win the World Series last season for the first time in 108 years. And as further proof, in their first home game as Crown Kings on Monday night, they raised the banner at Wrigley Field, with the entire team trekking from the dugout to a pavilion atop the center field bleachers for the hoisting of the flag and none other than Rizzo tugging the rope that carried it to the top of the flagpole. When the players walked back, they did so out of a gate in right center field, with Rizzo carrying that same trophy across the outfield. It surprised me how emotional I got Rizzo said in the clubhouse after the game. I was an emotional wreck the whole time. Walking out there to raise the flag. Wow, I got chills. And then walking back with the trophy. That thing s not just heavy, it s been beat up. It s been around. Believe me, I know. But I kept thinking carrying that trophy, I am the only one that has ever gotten to do this. I still have chills thinking about it. Naturally, because Karma apparently has a second year on the lease on its Chicago residence, it was the trophy king himself, Rizzo, who won the home opener for the Cubs. He did so with the walk-off single in the bottom of the ninth for his first RBI of the season and a 3-2 win over the Dodgers, the same team Chicago had beaten in last October's National League Championship Series to clinch its first pennant since 1945. Talk about your banner nights. One more link to 2016, and the possibility that whatever magic helped carry the Cubs last year might not have been exhausted, the home plate umpire for the night they raised their first championship banner in 108 years was the same umpire who worked the plate in Game 7 of the World Series last year, Sam Holbrook. What I remember most is when it was over Holbrook said about Game 7, one of the greatest, most meaningful games ever played. Just to walk off the field at that moment was something special. It has a feeling that is hard to describe. The best way I can describe it was that you knew walking off the field it was an epic game in an epic series. Rizzo was the first major piece that team president Theo Epstein acquired in his exacting architecture of the franchise, and he is now the longest tenured cub as well as the emotional touchstone of this team. In 2013 he challenged the entire Reds dugout after a brushback incident, and before Game 5 of last year's World Series. With Chicago facing elimination it was the 27-year-old Rizzo who brought his young team to a relaxed equilibrium in the clubhouse one hour before the first ditch by performing his naked, dancing rendition of Rocky Balboa. It is not how many times you get knocked down, it is how many times you get up. He shouted. And he made this promise during his pugilistic skit, we're going the distance. And they did with Rizzo reprising his rocky role before Game 6 and also Game 7, 